everyone, I'm Amanda with Sweet Pieces, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about how to use Scumble as a glaze with chalk paint or probably any other paint that you have. Um, so we had this fantastic bow front mahogany dresser, and it was very dark, and it sat in the shop for a very long time, um, so I felt like it needed a facelift. So chalk paint to the rescue. So what we did was we did a mix of old white and pure white, one of our favorite white combos. And we stuck with the original hardware because it felt like it was very classic. Um, it's got that beautiful kind of brassy patina kind of an effect. So we, we left it as is. And I just wanted to show you here, you want to make sure anytime you work on a dresser that you paint a little bit of the insides. We've had this happen to us quite a few times where you put the draw back in and you can kind of see just along the edge. So you definitely want to make sure that you do at least a little bit of that lip in there, which is really great. So we have painted, uh, I think we did two coats on this and then we did a coat of clear wax on everything, nice and shiny and smooth. Um, except we left the top and I wanted to do something a little bit different to the top. We're going to make it kind of look um, driftwoody. Okay, so I know that I've talked to you a few times about how to do a wash with chalk paint. So this is a similar process. The only the big difference is that when you use scumball to create a glaze instead of doing a wash, it just gives you a longer open time so that if you're working on a very large surface like a dining table or a wall, with a wash, sometimes it can it can dry very quickly. And so sometimes you need a glaze to kind of give you a little bit more workability time. So that's what we're gonna do today. So here's how it goes. So Scumble is an artisan enhancements product that is a clear glaze medium. Basically, you can add paint to it to create any kind of color glaze. It is has kind of a milky consistency to it, but it, it truly is clear. This will separate over time too, so you just need to make sure that you stir it well. So basically, chalk paint is very porous, so it wants to absorb anything you put on the surface initially, and I'm sure you've found that maybe if you have been doing a wash. So what we need to do is we need to put a slip coat on here with um, just a clear coat of scumble. So that's what I'm gonna do first. And after we do that, we're going to add on our glazes on top of the slip coat. And how we're gonna create the glazes, we're gonna take scumble, which is what I put in this uh, little cup here, and we're gonna add a little bit of chalk paint to it. I'm probably gonna go like, maybe not quite 50-50, maybe have it be a little bit more glaze uh, with just a little bit of color in there. So we'll do that in just a minute. So now I'm going to basically just paint on my scumble. And this is really, you don't have to be precise about this. I'm actually going to use a little bit of a bigger brush here, but since my can isn't too big, I'm going to use that brush to put it on. So basically, you just want to make sure that you get the scumble everywhere. Because if you don't, if there's a spot that you don't get the scumble on, then your chalk paint is, or your, your glaze, your chalk paint glaze, is going to really kind of stick in that area. So you just want to make sure you get like a nice uh, solid coat on here. Now something to think about, um, you have to realize that scumble is, it's a glaze, right? So it that means that it has an, a longer open time. So you have some time to kind of work with this product. So it's not gonna like dry right away. So it's okay if you're working on a very large surface um, and you have to kind of take some time to get this all spread out. Um, it's totally a-okay. So I have found that depending on how thickly thick of a coat you put scumble on, um, it could take overnight to dry. So that is, you know, we love, one of the reasons why we love chalk paint is because it dries so quickly. But when you want to do some of these more intricate decorative type finishes, um, sometimes you do have to sacrifice a little bit of time there. So, but if you do like a really thin coat, it could dry a little bit quicker. You can see I'm being very messy with this. I have two brushes going because I don't want to keep you here forever. I want you to get started on your projects. And if any of you are out there and you've watched 9 million videos, 
and you just don't know what to do, just get started. Open the can, start painting, have fun. Um, when I first started working with these products, you know, I really didn't know too much. And the more you play with them, the more confident you'll get, the more fun you'll have, the more addicted you'll become. So don't say I didn't warn you, but get started. Okay, so now I feel like I have a pretty good um, coat of scumble on here. You can see that it looks nice and wet. Julie, can you just see right here, like there's a little area, I don't know, can you see that on camera? Uh -huh. um, that doesn't have any scumble on it. So that's what you just wanna make sure that you just get all of those areas and make sure that everything is nice and well covered. Okay, I have a couple hairs here. I'm not gonna get too crazy about it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my chalk paint to my scumble. So I'm just gonna use my stir stick here, kind of pour it in. I'm eyeballing this. I'm no cook, I can't cook. You know, they, they a little dash of this, a little dash of that, but I can paint, so it's okay. All right, so I've added a little bit of chalk paint to this. I've stirred it up, which is good. We have a visitor, but we're gonna make them wait a few minutes so we can finish this up with you. Um, okay, and now I'm gonna do the same thing with my on floor. So this is Annie's newest color. Have you guys seen this yet? So I know some of you have been asking for a brown, which is great for doing like glazes and things like that. So I'm going to add and I'm gonna stir. And you can see that it's kind of changing the color of the glaze. It's making it the color of the paint, which is what you want. Okay. And I don't have a ton in here because I'm really not going to need a whole heck of a lot. I'm just doing the top of this piece. Stir, stir, stir. All right, we are good. So now I'm going to add one, then the other. My head is telling me um, that I want this to be dark first and then light. Why? I, I don't know. I just, I want it to be lighter than darker. I, I want it to have more of like um, a beachy kind of a feel to it. So I'm going to go dark first and then light. So now I have a little bit of scumble on here. I'm sorry, a scumble glaze in the brown and I'm going to add on top. So you can see I really just did one little dip and look how far this is going. Okay, so this, what this also does by using scumble as a glaze is it allows you to create um, like a very consistent kind of a look. So if you're going for that like very striate kind of an effect, um, scumble will allow you to do that where you don't have to, you know, be super quick with this if you're not really experienced with doing a wash. I have a hair here. I'm going to kind of jab this at a 45 degree angle and get it off there. You can just go right back over it. It's very, very easy, very forgiving, Scumble is. So I'll just get about half this done and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with um, that second layer. And now this is, you know, this is all kind of play as I go. Like I, I do have a an idea in mind for how I want this to turn out but I'm not gonna get set in my ways. So like if this isn't working out the way I want it to, I'm gonna try something different. So in my head, I'm thinking, I'm gonna layer this second color of scumble right over the top of this. Now, it could make it blend too much and then I won't see like the delineation of the gray and the brown. So if that starts to happen, I'll just stop. I'll let the brown dry and then I will do the gray when the brown is dry right on top of it. Now, because Scumble is so forgiving, Glaze is so forgiving, um, I'm not even gonna worry that I have not done this other half. I'm just gonna kind of let it be, and when I'm ready to do it, we'll just blend the two together. So now I have my gray, and I'm gonna dip in, and I'm gonna go right over this. Okay, all right, I think this is gonna work. This is what I want. So I'm gonna just kind of spread this in here, Oh, I'm digging it. And sometimes I don't dig it. You know, I've, I've said to many of our wonderful customers that there is always some point in a project that I do not like it. And I just have learned to work through that feeling. Just keep going. When you don't like it, it means that you have to keep going. 
So now you can see that this is just kind of lightening up The gray and the brown are mixing together nicely, but not too, they're not mixing too much where I can't see the delineation of the gray and the brown, which is what I wanted. And it's also good because, you know, I'm impatient, so I really didn't want to have to wait until the brown was dried to put the gray on, so it's a good thing. And when this is dry, you know, I'll always make my decision that maybe, do I need to add more gray? Do I need to add another color? Does something else need to be done? You know, you can always do a little bit more. But sometimes you gotta know too, what, like when to stop, right? Cause you can't just keep going forever. You can't have all that furniture sitting around your house or your garage forever. The husbands will get mad, right? All right, so here we go. I think we have a good amount of coverage here. Uh, so easy. Two simple products, chalk paint and scumble as a glaze. And this took me all of about six minutes, probably six or eight. Um, easy peasy. And now we have a beautiful, gorgeous, beachy, driftwoody top, which is what we love. So I hope that you will come and visit us if you have any questions about these wonderful products because we are here seven days a week to answer all your DIY questions. Um, we have just gone through a little bit of a renovation here in Huntington. We have a brand new DIY center, um, tons of sample boards, only the best and most fantastic products here. We will not make you crazy in your head spin. We only offer the very, very best in the latest DIY and home decor. So come take a class, visit us online, shop 24-7 or just keep watching these videos. I hope to get to meet you soon. See you soon. Hey everyone, I'm Amanda with Sweet Pieces and today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about how to use scumble as a glaze with chalk paint or probably any other paint that you have. Um, so we had this fantastic bow front mahogany dresser and it was very dark and it sat in the shop for a very long time. Um, so I felt like it needed a facelift. So chalk paint to the rescue. So what we did was we did a mix of old white and pure white, one of our favorite white combos. And we stuck with the original hardware because it felt like it was very classic. Um, it's got that beautiful kind of brassy patina kind of an effect. So we, we left it as is. And I just wanted to show you here, you wanna make sure anytime you work on a dresser that you paint a little bit of the insides We've had this happen to us quite a few times where you put the draw back in and you can kind of see just along the edge. So you definitely want to make sure that you do at least a little bit of that lip in there, which is really great. So we have painted, uh, I think we did two coats on this, and then we did a coat of clear wax on everything, nice and shiny and smooth, um, except we left the top. And I wanted to do something a little bit different to the top. We're going to make it kind of look um driftwoody okay so i know that i've talked to you a few times about how to do a wash with chalk paint so this is a similar process the only the big difference is that when you use scumble to create a glaze instead of doing a wash it just gives you a longer open time so that if you're working on a very large surface like a dining table or a wall with a wash sometimes it can it can dry very quickly and so sometimes you need a glaze to kind of give you a little bit more workability time. So that's what we're gonna to do today. So here's how it goes. 